This is a 1912 EMF touring car. This car matters because it was one of the brass era cars. It was one of the first, and cars of this era will always be special because they were the first. The EMF company at one time was the second largest manufacturer of cars in the world. They made 50,000 of them, and they were second only to Ford at the time. The car was 95% complete when I got it, but it had been an older restoration and uh, a very poor restoration. So everything mechanical was redone, the body and the upholstery. The flag emblem is an original. Of course, the flags are not, but uh, this was a common uh, thing that they used to decorate for the 4th of July and other holidays. The Brass Parrot is our mascot. We found him at a flea market, and we call him Everett because the car's initials are for Everett Metzger and Flanders, the founder of the company. The car is 100 years old this year, and we always wanted to drive across the country and just sort of flit and mess along the way. Do antique shops and to visit club members and just enjoy the trip. We had the car shipped to California. It was not a race. We did maybe 100 miles a day. It was about 40 days and we did 4,200 miles. We had people hanging out of their cars as they went by taking pictures of us. They just couldn't believe that the car ran for some people, much less driving that long a distance. It's a 30 horsepower, four cylinder engine. And uh, we cruised anywhere from 30 to 35 miles an hour. We crossed about 800 miles of desert. Sometimes we camped in the car. We had a bed made over top of the seats, just like they did originally. We just cruised easy and took care of the maintenance of the car along the way, and we just didn't have any trouble. It's a time machine. We were living in 1912 in our minds. A lot of times people will ask us, where is the car show when we go by? And we like to tell them, well, the show is right here. It's uh, history in motion. I'm Joe Swan, and this car matters.